What's around everyone? Welcome to Exotero Angel. This is going to be your full moon reading that happened in Aries, okay? So boy, oh boy, how y'all feeling out there? So we got the sun in Libra and we got the moon in Aries energy. So I hope hopefully you guys been able to go out and just kind of look at the moon in the morning, the mid-mornings, and then the evening time and recognize the the balance of the sun and just look right on over. It's not hard to find. Just look directly across and you'll find the moon. Even if you can't see it, it's there, right? Okay. So this moon here, okay, like you know, energies of the moon does not happen at one day. It's, it's powerful on that particular day that it's a hundred percent excuse me illuminated but when it actually comes to the energies the energies are still around so you know what I mean so we can't just forget about it and move on with our lives so with this Venus uh, not Venus this energy in Mars we have Mars actually in Libra okay so it's like swapping here then we have Venus um, as well hanging out with Libra. Then we got, you know, a whole situation of um, basically knowing and structuring, having that gift to be able to balance, you know, having that, that gift to be able to balance your passions and be in harmony with what you love and still be in balance at the same time. This is an also, you know, harvest moon. So a lot of holy days happen in February, even though it might not be celebrated in every state or every calendar, doesn't have certain holidays on it or whatever the situation is. But the Libra season is, have a lot of high holy days for um, this harvest moon, uh, whether it's the new moon or the full moon. So it's about, you know, being grateful for what you have. Um, you know that saying, you reap what you sow. So, you know, being grateful about what you reaped. This is also a time of getting ready for a new beginning again, right? Come the new year. So a lot of people think or say that the new year is January 1st, but uh, the new year is actually when the seasons begin again. All right. So starting with the uprising of spring, hence a lot of holy days happen in spring. Okay. Just like they're happening in the fall as we speak. So how are you going to prepare yourself for next year right and this is the time to start contemplating and working on that and getting rid of what you don't need and keeping what you do need and where are you placing your values at and where you put more of your time and attention into and this particular reading since the sun is in Libra and we're having this full moon in Aries okay and Libra and Aries are right across from each other okay they're looking at each other all the time like hey 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 okay so we gonna we gonna work on those energies right here and right now and we're gonna find out the question is do you choose you or them do you choose you or them that is the question and what means you it just means all of you your uniqueness your originality your passions, you know what I mean? What you stand for, what you don't stand for versus others, you know? Is it all in with others and 0% of you? Is it, you know, an 80-20 situation going on? You know, is it a 20, did I say 80-20? I did, I did, you know, but you get the point. Um, who do you choose, you or them? And the key is because we live in this world. So even though, you know, 
all of us should be like, I choose myself, right? But a lot of us are not at that point. And Libra is a very funny sign when it comes to um, other people because that is its job is to relate to other people. Some of y'all might not, some of y'all know some Libras. I'm like, wait a minute, I don't see no Libras relating. Okay, well, it just depends on how you look at it. But Libra is just all about connecting with people on one on one basis, whether it's in a negative light or a um, positive light. Um, for example, Will Smith is a Libra, and Will Smith did the Willy Slap, right? Everybody's known for that Willy Slap on stage, live, you know, he unfiltered, he really didn't care. Well, we don't know how filtered it was, but from what we viewed, right, it was like unfiltered. So you saw a Libra act on its passions, Aries, that fire energy. So are you going to use that communication relating to others expressing how you feel your boundaries your limitation what makes you 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 know what i mean what makes you keep things balanced and harmony amongst yourselves and others that is the question of how to do that and we're going to find out you know just to get you a starting point we're going to go by zodiac signs about are you choosing you or others and when I mean others it's kind of like others as a priority over you and it's not balanced all right so let's get started we're gonna start off with Aries first this around Leo Sun Moon and Ascendant this is your tarot card reading for the full moon in Aries so my goodness okay these Libra new moon full moon energy is all about that harvest right it's all about you know what you have reaped so far and my goodness leo i mean you're shining bright and the question is it's like you know for this reading it's like who do you choose you or others and right now you're like i'm choosing others right now and because I got to celebrate, you know what I mean? This thing's happening in my life that I can't just do that. I can't just be keeping it inside and keeping it bottled up because there's so much good news and joy and celebration to share with everybody. So I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna share it with not just one or two, you know, maybe there's one person particularly um, that has seen my journey and has saw me through all of this that I've gone through the trials and tribulation but I'm also going to include you know my close friends their close friends relatives you know maybe some neighbors down the road that you know been um supporting me and my journey yada 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 right and you're just you know about this relaxation and it feels good it feels warm inside you know the summer is over now but you are like holding on to summer energy like you're not letting it go you like hell no i don't care if the leaves are turning colors i'm gonna still shine real bright while the leaves are turning colors because guess what it's only gonna make my backdrop and my picks a little bit even better okay because that moon and that sun during fall is like there is no filter for it right so you just all up taking pictures please comment below if i'm right you just all outside getting all the horizon pics and the sunset and the sunrise and you're looking all good and whatnot shining and stuff you better go ahead now for those leos out there who's like man i don't know what she talking about man i don't feel no joy no celebration or anything like that you have to look at the harmony within yourself because this is libra season and it's about that balance you know are you with this new moon in aries i mean full moon in aries it's kind of like are you burning yourself out so much so that you don't have time to have inner harmony are you sitting on some passions and you're sitting on it but you're not doing nothing about it therefore it's making you heavy on one side you know what i mean are you having any kind of conflicts with other because libra season is about other people and it's about communication and things like that so sharing ideas and a one-on-one -on -one thing so is there one particular person that you you have a conflict with i mean like so it's it's, it's that type of uh thinking that you have to do you know um are you resisting any kind of transitions are you hold are you self-sabotaging yourself from joy those are the questions you need to ask for because some people are actually scared to be happy 
That might sound weird, but it's the same thing as some people are scared to be successful. Same thing, you know? So take a look at yourself. But for those other Leos out there, son, new in the sentence, hey, y'all better go ahead and get that. And you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, y'all doing wonderful and you have a very logical reason. Because you have too much to be happy for, too much to be grateful for, and you want to share that joy to others. You know, whether they appreciate it or not, you could care less because it makes you feel good to be able to celebrate with others. That's all that matters, Leo. Have a wonderful day and night during this Aries full moon energy, Leo. Summer in the sentence.